Hello everyone, it's Milka and thank you for watching my last videos. And this video is in connection also with my last video which is about au pair. If you already had all the requirements, the documents that you need as an au pair, then your next step would be your application for the au pair visa in German Embassy. So this video will help you or give you an idea of what are the possible questions that the interviewer will ask you regarding your application. So stay tuned. So guys, I just have two uh, tips for you for your interview. It's just um, be confident and be honest in answering all the questions. Okay, so our first question would be, uh, before anything else, I would I all uh, prepare everything, prepare the questions, possible questions that would be asked for you during your interview. So our first question would be, of course, you should introduce or say something about yourself. You could, um, yeah, th that includes your name, your address, your age, and I think also your educational attainment or your kung ano po yung tinapos ninyong course sa Pilipinas. Uh, our next question would be, how did you know about the au pair program? We could, pwede po tayong sumagot na we heard it from a friend, from a relative, or nakita po natin yung mga advertisement na ito sa mga social media, Facebook. Yes, you could answer that. Or maybe some someone close to you, also an au pair, recommends it. Okay, okay, pwede po yung, um, ganun po yung mga isagot natin. But I suggest that um, you just be honest of your answer it's it's up to you if what what it is okay so um next pong question is importante din po na um before tayo mag pumunta ng interview is nabasa po natin yung contract natin and we know about the au pair program this cultural exchange program so next is what is au pair and what are the duties? What are? Yeah. Okay. So, na-mention ko naman po before na um, as an au pair, kailangan po alam po natin uh, what are our duties in the family. Nakasulat din po yun sa contract natin na pinirmahan at agree both parties na ganito yung magiging um, duty mo as an au pair na child care support, um, taking care of the children, um, bringing them in school, picking them up, playing with them, mga ganun po. And then also um, doing light household chores. Like for example, um, uh, um, Ayusin mo yung bed nila, ganun. Tutupiin mo yung mga damit. Just, just light household. Because um, in European countries, mostly, your host family will have also um, uh, someone na maglilinis ng bahay nila. So, it's not your duty. But sometimes, um, as an au pair, ginagawa din natin na ayusin yung mga kama ng bata, ligpitin yung mga, mga, mga laruan nila, something like that. So, it's better to familiarize yourself of what are your duties. And also, it's important na alam po natin, tinatanong din po, if um, how many hours um, is your work and ilang araw yung trabaho nyo. So, it's um, five days per week and you will have two days off or sometimes weekend depends upon your agreement kung ano yung kung anong araw ka kailangan ng host mo and then yun nga it's 5 hour uh 5 days per week and 6 hours 
per day. But kung gusto nilang mag-extra ka, then extra ang um, bayad rin po yun. For like babysitting, kung aalis sila sa gabi, so extra din po yun. And then, the next question would be, how much allowance do you get? It's also included in your contract. So, uh, it's 260 euros per month. And then, there's still additional 50 euros kung if you are enrolled or in a, do, in a German course or in a language course. So, uh, 260 plus 50 euros, it's 300, 310 euros per month. So, yun po. And the other other expenses like your monthly tickets um pag-uusapan po ninyo ng host family mo yan when you already um uh, arrived in your host country so uh, everything na mga questions is you could find the answers in your contract so just uh, familiarize yourself read it carefully and understand what is stated there because it's very important okay so, next question. Ah, ito po. Um, very important din po to na baka eh, tatanungin din. Uh, is au pair a work? No, you should um, answer it's not a work. But it's just like a cultural exchange program. It's not a work and you are not a worker or an o OFW who will um, apply Yun lang po, uh, you are, uh, au pair is not a work, but it's like a cultural exchange program. And then, ito tinatanong din, din po ito na, do you have any relatives in the country? So, it's up to you kung isasagot nyo po yes or no, but it's, it's really up to you. But I just have, um, share this idea so that you could um think of your answer or prepare and this one is also very important what are your future plans after your au pair so it's also up to you if what is your answer like you want to go back in the philippines to yeah or you just want to have a one year experience outside philippines ma, ma ganun. So it's it's up to you if what are what is your answer. So just be honest and be confident in answering those questions. And also, there's also a processing fee of uh seventy five euros. Yeah. So you also need to to prepare it upon upon your application. So I hope that this video really helped you with your application and. Yeah, I am so excited to meet you here personally. So just just um feel free to message me if you have other questions, maybe I could help you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you here in uh, Hamburg. I'm in Hamburg, Germany. So thank you everyone and see you on my next video. Thank you.